Hey everyone, so today I want to talk to you about a TV programme which is called The Joys of Teen Sex or Joy of Teen Sex, I can't recall but the title will be whatever is correct and I was watching this just because I was bored and I was like okay I need to put something on, that'll do um, This is a Channel 4 programme, it's on at 10 o'clock on Thursday, that was last Thursday and I was, I was watching it and I was like okay I wasn't exactly watching this for entertainment purposes but then I thought, why am I watching this? And then I thought, why did somebody make this? Obviously the purpose of these programs is initially, and I say initially because most people don't watch it for this, most people watch it to laugh, basically, because people are immature, um, is for education. Of course it is. Otherwise it would be just like cheap, tacky, kind of peculiar version of porn, otherwise. Um, and it was very, very peculiar. And actually, we'll talk about porn in a moment, uh, kind of. Um, it basically takes us through different stages. There's no like weird diagrams or anything. It's not like a, um, a sex ed lesson or anything. Uh, Channel 4 are quite big for doing their, their, their sex education programs, though. And they're always kind of really peculiar. Um, but never have I seen one that focuses on teenagers. And I think that's a little bit discriminatory, because it's kind of like saying only teenagers have questions and only teenagers want to know the basics and only teenagers are often clueless whereas there are people who are much older, you know, people in their 20s, 30s who still haven't got a clue people in their 50s perhaps, I don't know, I'm not that old I'm 19, only, you know, I'm nearly 20, I'm nearly out of that teenage bracket, thank god um, but it's basic, um, there was like a, a little question and answers where teenagers asked questions and they were answered um, there was one section which was the one of the presenters, there was a few of them, went to watch how an anal porn film was made. I should really put a notification at the beginning of this video saying warning contains um, explicit language, um, which was really peculiar. We didn't see, in fact we did see things that you probably won't want to see in a normal situation. Um, it is, nothing is pixelated, I will say that right now. So if you're faint hearted or you just feel sick, don't watch it. It's not, nothing is pixelated, you will see everything. Um, a couple of teenagers actually went with their own problems and got checked out and it was, it was weird. It was one of those things where I thought, well I suppose, I don't think I learned anything from it, I'll be honest. I don't think I learned anything. It also talks about gay sex as well, which doesn't bother me. You know, I didn't learn anything from there either. Not that I needed to, um, which sounded like a really weird thing. A lot of things I say in this video can be taken the wrong way. So please take everything I say the right way. Um, yeah, so it, it, I suppose it was educational. As I said, I didn't really learn anything. Not that I'm an expert, but I didn't learn anything that, you know, made me think, oh, a better bear than in mine, you know. Um, but it was good, yeah. Would I watch it again? Probably not. But it was nice for a one-off little watch when I was bored. It's not as if I couldn't watch it. And I did sometimes stop what I was doing, because I it was, it was background initially. It was initially background TV, because I like to have something on in the background when I'm writing. And initially it was just like, I'll shove that on and I'll listen to it. Um, but sometimes I did actually stop what I was doing and sit and watch it, just like my eyes glued to the screen, thinking, this is good. <laughs> it was really interesting, yeah. Um, so do watch it, obviously, if you are wanting to learn, you want to watch it for the purposes of education. Um, do watch it, give it a watch, yeah, you'll probably enjoy it in that aspect. If you just want to watch it to watch something a bit peculiar, do. And if you're perverted, it's going to be for you. <laughs> not that I, That's not why I watched it, uh, honestly. But yeah, it was, it was entertaining <laughs> in some aspects. I know a lot of you will have watched this. I know the, the sex education show which they do is very, very popular. I think that's Channel 4. It's very popular anyway they do that one. I know a lot of people do that. That actually trends on Twitter when that is being, when that is airing. So that's very good. This is not as interesting as that one I don't think because it is very specifically focused on teenagers. You don't have that wider aspect, wider views. And it's not as, it's not as basic, you know. If you're watching this, it's kind of assuming you at least know the na the the um the names of things, you know. It's not as straightforward and as elementary, if you like. Um, yeah, but please feel free to leave comments on this program. If you watched it, let me know if you found it peculiar. Um, I will say now that it is not a program you're going to want to watch with your parents or with somebody who is not your friend, if you know what I mean. If it's not somebody who would normally talk about this kind of stuff to, don't watch it with them. But yeah. Um, average things that go with these. There are plenty of these type of programs that are around so I don't think there's anything that, that made this one specifically unique it's just like any of the others except this one was happening this one happened to be on 4 OD when I was looking for something to watch and it was it was alright yeah and um, please feel free to leave comments let me know your thoughts and that's it for just now and I'll see you all next time bye